No, no, get them to do one thing. They're just standing here looking pretty. I guess it's all right. You want to try it? Yeah. Fire it up. This is exciting. What's up, people? Today we're back with the Tame Prototipo car. Boom! And we're gonna start it. So everything seems to be in order. We have primed the oil system. We got battery juice. There's water in the cooling system. There's lubrication where it should be. And we hope things go bang, bang when they're supposed to. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> we got fuel. You know, we fixed, we did the fuel lines because those were sort of sucking in air. We yeah. got replaced. So we know there's fuel pressure. We know there's oil pressure. Hopefully it'll still prime. And you've yeah. been futzing with the brake system for quite some time because we yeah. found out there was some weird little idiosyncrasies with the seals yep. in the master cylinders and it was totally screwing up your deal. Yep, exactly. Okay, so that all works. Yeah, yeah. So theoretically, if this thing runs and horrible things don't happen, all we have to do is set up and it's ready to test. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, yeah, cool. We'll go over with everything else once we're done starting it and running it, just to be sure. Okay. Well, awesome. Aaron, do you want to very carefully hook that up to the battery and do it methodically and slowly one at a time so you don't accidentally... I know. Just do one at a time and double check it. The reason I'm being picky is not because Aaron's not smart, but because I've been around a long time and I've seen things happen that shouldn't happen and we don't want to hurt our car right now. Okay, so that's good. And I just, yeah, and I just checked it for neutral. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna do the throttle. Let me uh, remember where the heck it is. Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, hold up. Make sure it works. Yeah, I got the throttle. Okay. Now you're the one that has to kill. If I yell kill it, yep. just kill the big switch, and I'm right? Monitoring oil pressure, and if there's any weird discrepancy of it. Um, That's fine. Yeah. Okay, oil pressure. All right, so we're ready. Where do you want to be to watch? Do you want to come back here, maybe, or? And actually, quick question. Do you think you know what the oil pressure should be when we get this on? Uh, I mean, I think it should go up pretty good. I'll know if it's reasonable or not to start with, and we'll All just right. go from there. How about that? Okay. Um, go ahead and energize it, and just let's get things pumping and make sure there's no leaks and stuff. Okay, so that's energized. Ignition. Start okay, the do the gas pump. Looks like we got pressure. Let's look for leaks first. Yep. And you're ready with that fire extinguisher, right. right? Hopefully I won't have to do my job. Okay, and we have belts on the pump and everything like that, right? Yep. All right, let's try it. Wait. Wait, wait. I saw shadows. I'm listening to the water or the fuel in the yeah. swirl tank here. And I guess it's all right. You want to try it? Yeah. Fire it up. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Stop. It's kind of weak. That battery's pretty weak over there. Yeah, maybe. How long is that but the starter's good so far. Yeah, you shims good. worked right. Yeah. Okay, that's so that's good. good. That battery's been sitting here for a while. It's that got a lot of good. compression. Go ahead one more time. Let's see if it does anything. It's probably not. Go. Okay, give yeah, it one moment. Stop there, right? It's okay. Let's go again. All right. And one more, when it bucks, let off immediately, okay? You gotta be more, gen you gotta be more like snappy with that. Hit it. Okay, let's get a charge on it. Go ahead and kill it. Uh, yeah, if you want. Is it easy to grab? Yeah, it's pretty easy. Okay, so let's also use this as an opportunity to put that on a charger. Yeah. So I tell you, um, who wants to put that on a charger and you're getting a Lycan battery? No, no, get them to do one thing. They're just standing here looking pretty. This guy can just hold the, he can hold the, uh, sure? He can use the charger. Make him use the charger. You want to disconnect here, one of these? Here, you want? Yeah, I got you. Hold on. <laughs> they stuck him here with the stupid leads. I'm the certified genius. You're, you're the stuck, you're the certified. How could you get stuck with the dumb job? That's true, you are new. Okay, uh, let's find the char. You bring the charger in here? Just do that. Where's the other battery like that? I'm not sure. Are you getting the charger? Do you think, you, you don't have to hold those. Why am I holding I don't know. What are, you, what are you doing? We try something out and it doesn't work. And then we all scramble to do something else that we think will work. And then uh, the smart people just stand back and look like we're doing something important um, while the poor schlubs uh, do this. Hey, did you carry that battery all the way in there? Oh, because you're going to charge it in there. Yeah, that's my plan. Yeah. Here, give me a charger. 
It's pretty darn hot today, you guys. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, battery is pretty dead. Yeah. That wasn't going to help a whole lot. Okay. All right. So Tyler's grabbing the battery. Yep. Out of the lichen. That's cool. I want to make sure. Want me to go make sure you can see the camera or anything? You can help him if you want. I didn't pay attention to see if the oil pressure was going up when we were doing this. Cam, did you notice that the oil pressure was going up when we cranked it? Uh, you know, I actually didn't see that either. I wasn't paying attention. It probably wasn't cranking it up. I have a follow-up question. Are you sure the distributor didn't get turned when we were working on it? You know? Because it's cranked all the way to one extreme, which would make me think that it's super advanced right now. Like, I never saw the distributor turn at any point when I was working on it. I never even touched it. Do you distributor. have a picture of what it looked like when you first started working on it? I can't tell you if it'll be a great picture. Because it, 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 it seems like it wants to fire and it's, it's also cranking slowly. You never loosened the distributor, did you? No, never did. Doesn't look like it. All right, we'll go with that. But it also seems like it didn't want to fire because the timing was pretty far advanced. Yeah, let's see where we're at. Do you know if it's got mechanical advance in the rotor or if it's just locked in straight? Um, you know, I'm honest, I don't know. That's okay. Oh, uh, you can see far. a little bit. Yeah, you can see it is pretty far. Okay, that's the way it was. All right, and I was looking at telltale signs and that's the way it was. Where's the badger? This is exciting. So this, it actually it is exciting. So the car has a completely fresh fuel bladder and foam, rework some of the fuel lines, the roller vents, um, nice new battery. We redid a bit of the oil filtration system. So instead of just being a uh, old school screen, it has a proper filter in it, which is nice because the bearings will last longer. I'm trying to think where those darn strings are. There's something called a tattletale. It's a round screen, kind of old school, um, that you usually put in line to see if your motor starts letting loose. That kind of grabs all the big particles. Um, and we had no filter, so we put a proper spin-on filter with it, and they put the oil temperature sender in that over here, which is nice. This should be really good. Um, new fuel pumps and all, and a whole new braking system, and, cl and the clutch hydraulics. Okay, you got that. Yo, Aaron, where's the leads? Hey, and if you want to be a little safer, this doesn't seem very good. Hold on, let me look at this. Let me just see it. You're fine. Okay, one at a time. Yep. All right. Okay. That lichen battery has jumped. The Batmobile. <laughs> the trailer. The, the trailer. Right. It's done. The BMW. All right, the BMW. All right now remember, be snappy with that. Uh, Don't yeah. be overly psycho about it, but be ready to kill this thing with a master if we say kill it, okay? All right. Let me check the neutral one more time. All right. We're ready? All right. Everybody paying attention? Exactly. Okay. Yeah, yeah, hit it. Ignition. Fuel pump. Yeah. Okay, a little more, yeah. No, keep going. If it just does that, it's, a, it's not a big deal. Go. We got some oil pressure, that's good. Yep. Let's do it again.
was that squealing noise? Was that the alternator? I don't know. It sounded like it was coming from there, which wouldn't have made sense. It was here. Well, it runs, but the oil pressure is lower than it should be. Yeah, at least it's... Yeah. Turn the ignition on again. I want, to read, I want to see the readings. Turn the ignition on. I don't, I don't, I mean, when we started it up at like 1500, it was only making like 35 PSI, yeah. 30 PSI. Yeah, it started dropping out about 20. Well, yeah, it's going to drop as it gets warmer because yeah. ex things expand and the oil starts to get thin, but I don't, I don't like where the oil pressure is. Yeah, I honestly agree with that. Do you think, well, it take me some time to kind of think about what that could be. Does it runs it well. Yeah. Everything's good. Mm -hmm. Sounds vicious. It's like vicious, it that's right. Yeah. <laughs> What about the belt? The belt, I was looking, I didn't see anything majorly going wrong. I was using, until it cools down and I'll feel. as a note, cold, 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 I, was cold, cold, I was using the stethoscope to listen to the block and all, and I didn't hear anything ugly. Okay, I was actually about to ask what you were hearing there and what you listened to. Um, but this is a huge milestone. This is. I'm, I was excited. Want <laughs> me to turn all this off? Um. Yeah, go ahead and yeah, just kill the power. Let's go go ahead and check the belt. Just push on it if you can get your hand in there or whatever. Yeah. It's probably pretty warm down in there, but yeah, so I can have to do my yeah. job, so that's good. Yeah, exactly. It's always had a hold been cold for a very long time, clearly, but we need to think a little the oil pressure is red back here. Yeah. I think it's raised. And I didn't check up. Now there is a bypass. For oil pressure here, the bypass valve or something right there. So I guess it's possible that if that was not functioning well, it would be letting um, yeah. oil pass. Gotcha. We could test it. We could try blocking it off and firing it up. If we cap this right here, where yeah. the return is, we could see if we could isolate real quick and see if that's it. Now we want to be mindful, so if it if it goes crazy, yeah, because I did notice it was kind of bleeding off quickly at like 45 psi. So there's a chance that that could be funky and letting stuff by. Gotcha. So we ought to try it. And when I listened to it, it felt real felt real nice. And it had all we put in all fresh bearings of the exact same as the way it was before. Exactly. And it's not like the crank journals and everything are scored up. So unless there's something stupid we miss, there is a possibility that could be the bypass. Mm -hmm. But otherwise, what we've learned is the heat cycles up well, it runs really well, it's a nasty motor that's ready to go, there's nothing cantankerous or crazy that just happened. Everything yeah. about this is exactly the way you want a race car to be when you first start up, with the exception of oil pressure not being where we want it to be yet. Pretty much, yeah, to be honest, I'm kind of happy with it. You should be happy yeah, with it. Yeah, because my big worry was that obviously it either wouldn't start, because maybe there's something up with timing, and if there was, we don't really have it. It, it's definitely a nasty motor with a lot of timing, um, total race motor. But that was a that was a great uh, first first deal. So yeah. tomorrow, let's test the let's try the bypass thing and yep. just see what happens and start nailing it down. Maybe get the belt a little tighter because it sounded like the belt was squealing a touch. Yeah, that could yeah. Uh huh. And um, we'll uh, we'll go from there. Okay. And, then, and then if things get a little better, or even if they stay about the same. Uh, it wouldn't hurt to get this thing out and then just test it moving under its own power in the parking lot. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay, what do you guys think? You want to kill the fan real quick? Kill the fan, just for a sec. All right, you guys. Well, hope you enjoyed uh, seeing the whew, Tame prototype start for the first time. It is a hot, nasty thing. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we get this other little thing figured out. Hopefully. But your shim worked perfectly on the starter. The oh, starter's yeah. good. That we were good. right about it. The teeth engaging too tightly. Yep. So I'm so, glad about that. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Me and uh, one hand came to like the conclusion of what, how far to space it, and then he made the spaces. So, awesome. Or shim it. So, yeah. Well, we're getting close. Should be fun. Yes. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah.